been phenomenal the uh, um, the fan base absolutely um yeah just meeting them like um in person stuff it's awesome we just saw stockroom classics on the track and what do you think about all these throwback cars and to see these cars that are part of national history take the track oh, i love it i love it they need to be, they need to be restored and stuff and i'm glad you know the group, the group does that and stuff that's awesome and, um it's interesting to see different generations of cars and um, main flats around the track. Very interesting. Definitely, and obviously the next event we have is for Starcraft Classics it is at Rockingham, so make sure y'all come out to that Rockingham. It's uh, a lot of great stuff going on this year, and hoping to see it on the NASCAR schedule again soon. We'll see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But now I want to change gears a little bit. Daily downforce. Y'all are part of this, and y'all are on a car. BJ was Miles' car for this weekend. Can you tell me about how this came to be and how special this is for y'all? Well, as most of y'all know, Eric, he stepped sponsored the car last year. And then um, he used to have the out of the network, yes. but um, thanks to AE Engines, uh, it is now the Daily Downforce, which is awesome. We have a bunch of different kinds of creators on there. Um, Eric Eastep, myself, the Iceberg, the MP Talks, yep. the Garage Guys, uh, Scene Bolt, so, yep. many, um, so many uh, different uh, uh, communities on there. Um, but uh, yeah, um, Luke Fast um, came to us with a uh, um, with a uh, proposition, and we uh, are the next. Definitely, that, it's great to see, and I'm happy for y'all. Uh, y'all put in so much work over the years, and y'all's content is absolutely fantastic. And for y'all to be a part of this and be on a car with this criticism uh, race, that's, that's just amazing. And I just want to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Now, for those watching at home, if you haven't yet, go check out Darian and his channel. You'll see down the screen or in the description below. And also subscribe to me on the set one page. Subscribe. We'll know about the race. The Xfinity race was absolutely insane yesterday. We saw uh, the, the big one. That's oh. the biggest wreck I've seen here. At Darlington, too, of all places. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? I know. Who it's thought? been a long time since we've seen a big one here, and then we saw Kyle Larson get the win. So, uh, yeah. the cup races today, who do you have winning, and what's some of your expectations for the race? Well, I think this race is going to be sort of similar to last year. I mean, last year's races were pretty good. They might have been But uh, for the winners, I, um, for the winner, I have uh, Denny Hamlin and uh, Kyle Larson. Not too far behind, you know. But uh, Denny Hamlin for the win. You know, those two faced off in 2021 in the Southern 500. And Larson won yesterday. Hamlin's always a favorite to win here. He's won here multiple times and he's always really strong. So we're looking to see him out. Don't forget about Mark Jr. He's on the pole. You know, it's funny. I remember uh, we did a prediction at Bristol. I picked Trey Jr. And then, you know, where are you finished? All the way back at 30. Uh oh. So, <laughs> got to jinx him again? No. I did not pick him to win. <laughs> I, in fact, picked another Toyota driver to win, and I went with Christopher Bell in the 20 car. Um, it'd be interesting to see the DeWalt car go to victory lane. I'm sure Eric Eastep would be pretty happy oh, to see be that. Stag be stag well, thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't yet liked the video, subscribe, go check out Darian. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. It's nice seeing you here. Of course, man. Pleasure to be on, and uh, I'll do my uh, outro really quick. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.